I'm on a quest for fusion, both culinary and cultural. And we're right at the meeting point for imagination and improvisation. Our talented gourmets are introducing local flavors into global palettes. You know, Jiri Pure, the sheet sun. I only became a foodie after I moved to China. And how Western flavors are being recreated by Chinese chefs using their personal stories to season their creations. And curate a gastronomic expression of emotions and nostalgia. These are the innovators creating conversations in Beijing's culinary scene. After all, we learn a lot about people when we share our meal together. Chop chop. Let's get food wise. Mr. TR in the house. Hey. Hi. Well, someone's excited to see me. <laughs> What's this face expression? I have a very special reason why I'm bringing you here, okay. young man. So we're going to meet a rather interesting person. Okay. His name is Antoine. As his name gives away, he's French. And he owns his own restaurant called The Roots. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's all about organic farming, sustainability. He grows his own ingredients in the backyard and his own little garden. At the shopping center? Not directly at the shopping center. Okay. It's a hidden place, so I'll bring you there because it's a surprise. Right. And Beijing is full of surprises. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you'll see, it goes, it goes over there. So you planted all of this? Everything. Look how tall this one is now. We planted the first year. Yeah. This is a sage that we... Wow, I haven't seen crop. sage for ages. Ooh, oh, yeah. Wow. And this we, we, we grew. And this Ooh. is good for everything. And you drink sage tea as well? We have it in the restaurant. We sell it. Nice. Oh, right. Ooh, yeah. This is the grain they used to make baijiu. No, no. sorghum. How, how you call it? Sorghum. sorghum, yes. You can see already the little oh. grains forming, you know? Is it edible? Like, yeah. It's probably edible. You want to get drunk on these? <laughs> they're, not, they're not fermented yeah. yet. But these are the potatoes. Look at all, oh, all of this have, is like, worm the, casting. Yeah. Big worms, small worms, fat worms, spider. What about your wife? Because your wife is, is a Beijing, right? Yes. Yeah, how does she feel about all of she this? She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, she's mad, and, like bugs and like worms. And just, like, she's not, nah. what, about, what about your son, though? Oh, he loves it. He loves oh, it? Of course, of course. Hi there. Hey. Meh. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> no grass there. That's cool. <laughs> Just an expensive lens. <laughs> this one is a bit more shy, this one is not shy. So cute. It's like an adult petting zoo. I know, right? Except it's not even, it's just life. Yeah. <laughs> bye, goats. Bye bye, little sheep. Bye bye. <laughs> nah. So there you go, this is a roots. Well, oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, yeah. nice. Nice and big. It's like very much your personality sort of thing. It kind yeah. of is. It's the Chinese name? This is, no, this is the, the tagline, if you would say, like, oh, you know, Jiri Pure, the Shi San Wara. Your mission. <laughs> yes, the mission, the mission yeah. statement. Down, down, like down to Earth Western. Down to Earth Western. I like it. All right, so this is a kitchen, nice. like yeah. any other kitchen. And the oven over there. So inside, careful, it's very hot. Yeah. But inside, basically, it's going to be Ooh, like, you know, nice. burning. Wow. You can feel it already. It's well, like a yeah, sun yeah, yeah, yeah. where we cook our little chickens. Mmm, so good. <laughs> this is the only way we can get it nice. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the bread, let me show you. This one is fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one is called the Chiu Dong Chala. A lot of winter vegetables which are cooked and on the sweet side. You have a little bit of feta cheese sprinkled with salad to make it look like it just fell the first snow of the season. And here you have a smoked orange. Yes. Okay, we're gonna squeeze this one on top and it's gonna become the salad dressing. Oh, nice. So the juice okay, of the smoked so cool. orange is actually, is actually a gonna. A bit of sweet and a bitter. Yeah, flavor. bitter and yeah, exactly. And that one nice. is like our French grandma. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a French cheese called yeah. Camembert. Mm -hmm. It's a mini version of it. Yeah. Exactly. So it's been melted in the oven. So it's, mm. it's kind of, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, like, like a mini cheese fondue, just like that. And just... Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. <laughs> That's the right. <laughs> I love how right excited you get about your food. Mm. Yeah, right? <laughs> Super, pa that's like passion right there. I love the food. 
So what tea is what that? Tea, yeah. This is a sage that you saw in the no. garden. You know, we, we, you saw the garden that yeah, yeah, grow yeah, in the box, the color? sage. Uh, but we added another herb from China. Secret, oh. secret okay. herb from China. And the other secret herbs also brew into a normal green, yellow tea color. It looks like a Swarovski crystal, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Cheers. 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 Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank thank you. you for your time. Oh, oh my gosh, it's like a never-ending... Oh, nice. mm, this one's good too. Never-ending dishes, yeah. Mm. Big fat salmon steak. Yes. You first grill the salmon, like we did, and then you cook your sauce in it. And because you have the onions and the garlic, and you have the tomatoes, which have a little bit of sour and a little bit of bitterness, you have different levels of flavor, all delivered with one spoon, and you have everything in your mouth. Never mind the fish, the sauce itself. Yeah, piece dip of bread, in the baguette exactly. into just, the sauce. Just, just, just like that. Just, that's all you do. You don't even need to eat the fish. I He's having more fun eating I his own food. I love it so much. I, yeah, you know what? I think every chef and every like restaurant owner should, should talk be. about their food yeah. like this. You are just like the definition of passion for your own it's food. Delicious. Love it. Do you grow up with all of these kinds of food, or who was no. cooking it? And... Cheese, grilled meat, salads. You know, like classic. European, European dishes. And did, did anyone, did your parents teach you to cook? Or they did, again, they didn't teach me, but okay. they, they were cooking. Okay. So I, I, we, we didn't eat out, we didn't eat processed food, we ate home cooked food. It wasn't me cooking it, uh, but, but I was there in the kitchen and I was eating it and I was... Uh, oh, okay. So the techniques I don't have, yeah. I've had to relearn them later. Yeah. But the memories and the taste and how it's supposed to taste like, how balanced the dish is, how fishy, how, nah, 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 yeah, yeah. you know, how crispy that, that, that dough should be. These are stuff that, these are the objectives, these are things that I remember. You don't ever get, do you not get bored with the food? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, Obviously not. not. Uh, His no. eyes are shining in right there. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> so do you feel like you're, you're starting to like change the Chinese mentality of what Western food is supposed to look like, or is it we a are, slow burn? <laughs> um, instead of trying to change the mentality of what Western food is, yeah. I'm trying to change what we are to integrate into Chinese habits, okay. Chinese diets and eating habits. Yeah. So that I want them to think of this restaurant not as a Western food restaurant. And if you want to have it with chopsticks, also okay. Yeah. Then you know what I mean, it's no, it's no problem. So I'm, I'm trying to step away, if any, kind of try and find that middle mm -hmm. where people stop thinking which kind of food it is. So that's it. Did you try the pizza? Yes, it was amazing. So Did you try with the bread though? Because not yet, uh, not yet. But you you really are though. turning into your grandparents. Like, eat more, eat more, eat all of this, finish all of this. You're a bit skinny. Eat more. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so good. Excuse Tara. Wow. Wow, that's definitely a way of saying That's starting. amazing. Mmm, that's very pleasant. Thank you. I didn't know they had birch juice in France. How do you say it again? Birch juice. Birch. How from do you say from it? the tree, birch. Oh, birch. Like B -I -R -C. Birke. Okay, sorry. The there goes my German. Birke. Birke. Yeah, yeah. Cheers to that. From the Birke. Place. Yeah. Birke juice, yeah. <laughs> I'm always confused with, with these sorts of places. Like, yeah. do you eat the plate or do you eat the napkin? <laughs> I actually okay. want to take a photo. <sighs> so basic. While my, uh, while my appetizers go cold. Well, you'll thank me later because oh, I got like photos for memory. Shall we go for this one? Mm -hmm. What is this again? This is, oh, that smells great. It's, um, 
Oh, it smells like cheese, Parmesan. Yeah. Shove it into your... Mmm. Uh -huh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was great. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mmm. Oh. And with the butter scrub. Ooh, mm -hmm. yum. It's a beautiful presentation, and beautiful. I need to take a photo again. Nice. Lobster bisque. All right, bon appetit. Bon appetit. I don't even know how to get started. I'll try the broth first. Mmm. Oh, that's good. So yeah. good. I think this is my favorite dish so far. The owner is French, right? I suppose so. Mmm. I suppose so. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah. oh, nice to oh. meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice thank you very to much. Meet you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, wow. Lovely. Thank you. Perfect. Nice. So you're the you're the man behind all of these yeah, dishes. You're the greatest yes, yes, genius behind you. it. Wow. Thank you. Please have a taste for us. Mmm. Oh, that's oh. lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of the best steaks I've had in Beijing, I think. Yeah, that's lovely. Would you be able to give us a tour of the kitchen later, do you think? Of course, of course. So the kitchen is Oh, here. okay. This, this is, is the, our kitchen. Where the magic happens? Yeah. This, this is uh, our pastry, pastry shop. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Pastry like is my, you like your, my, you my passion, too, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. This is my mom. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Your pastry chef. That's like your yeah, pastry. She also is pastry chef. Wow. So you're a, you're a husband and wife team. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's seldom. <laughs> that, yeah. That's that's, that's, that's seldom, pretty rare. Actually, yeah. 不好意思，问我就是很好奇，你你是为什么是想做甜品的呢？他太累了，他来不及甜品了。对。而且我们当时在最早的时候。我之前其实是做做科研的在实验室待的时间比较多一些所以说形成了那种做事的人有逻辑观所以说在厨房上我觉得是和实验室是类似的去用一些严格的方法科学的方法去控制他每一个过程不管是任何一个人操作他都能够
会觉得说两人，不，二十四小时在一起、嗯、去做一件事情，其实是很很多挑战、嗯。对两个人的关系交流的方法、嗯，其实都需要很多考验。我们也度过过很多就是艰难的时刻，嗯，但现在我觉得就会高效很多。最关键是谁听谁。对<笑><笑>，我我一定听我爱人知道，<笑>好丈夫，<笑>对对对对,对，永远都会输的，对，这个是，人家说是呃，听媳妇的话，生活幸福嘛，对，就是。<笑>我是北京人，但是我六岁去了英国，是不是半个北京人？<笑> You know, like we did dumplings at home for every occasion, and it was always confusing because we did dumplings on Christmas Eve as well. <laughs> and we did dumplings on New Year's Eve. Yeah, so it's Saint Denis. Yeah, I think we did it on Halloween, Halloween as well. Halloween as well. It's a good excuse to eat dumplings. This is too thick. Yes, it's too thick. And this is Chef Xie, the most amazing chef in the world. She's incredible. Oh. <laughs> so how are you with cooking now? Do you cook at home? I, I don't cook as much as I should, but yeah, just from falling in love with food in China, from writing about food, you know, writing, okay. write, writing as a journalist, writing about everything under the sun in China, and then deciding that I wanted to focus on one topic. If I really want to learn about food, I need to learn how to make it, you know, yeah. so. So I'm still pretty new to Beijing. Oh, okay. Oh, she's got two years she's, on you. She's yeah. What do you like the most about Beijing? That it's Western. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been to many other countries in Beijing, and and you mean in China? I've been like so Chinese, and 
But Beijing is one of the only places that I know that are like really Western. Oh, okay. okay. So you mean it feels familiar to you? Like, oh, I think Beijing is a little bit different than other cities. Yeah. And in Beijing, all the no. foreigners want to be Chinese. That's funny. Yeah. Um, for like the, the cooking classes that you usually do here, yeah. is it mostly targeted towards the Chinese audience or the Western audience? Um, both, actually. Both? As you can oh, see, okay. we have a mix today, like, yeah. Chinese and Western. And then, actually, the most successful part of it was the dinners. Yeah. Our uh, wine and dine yeah. dinner, which you guys are going to experience yeah. tonight. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. And Athena, I know, wants yeah. to come, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what sort of, like, is it just noodles? Or are we putting stuff on it as well? Um, we're going to do a shi hong shi ji dan. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This is our cooking, or? This is a little bit too big. Maybe with a little too. Mmm. Add some too. Really good. I see some slurping going on. Oh, that's good. That's the hallmarks of a true food. Yes, that's the mark of a Chinese noodle eater. It's the chiru chiru. Yes. And you know what I also like to do? A little rooftop as well. Yeah, this patio, we have an amazing view here. Um, so if you can see, we've got um, Jingshan Park oh, there. In English, no, they call it no, Coal nice. Hill, where they dug up the moat from the Forbidden City and then kind of stacked it all up and made a hill out of it. Wow. Okay. And then here we've got a 601-year-old wall and then part of the Forbidden City, like there are many walls forbid uh, surrounding the Forbidden City and this yeah. is one of them. Just casually oh, putting just it like... out there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've got part of the Forbidden City here. <laughs> this is premium real estate. Part of major thing. history here yes. in my courtyard. Yes, it's amazing. Wow. Only in Beijing, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like it's not necessarily everybody's first time. We do dumpling making once a year as well, actually. So just take some, keep the dumpling skin in, in your fingers so that you can kind of curl it up a little bit because that yeah. helps kind of add, you, you, get a, you can stuff more filling in if you do it that way. And then fold one here, push up and pleats on one side. And then you just kind of set it down. What you want, why we do it that way, is because you want the surface area so that you get a crisper bottom. Nice. Okay. Yes. Okay. Challenge and so accepted. you've done a good job if it sits. Okay. So is that, is that you should show your 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 Montessori method. Uh, is there a special Montessori method to this? Uh, <laughs> and we'll kind of consolidate on a couple of um, rolling uh, rolling boards there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I keep on interrupting. I promise this might this might be the last time. Promise the mic. Welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you. This is so exciting to have you all Thank here. You so much. Oh, okay. So please start eating. But while we're eating, I would like everybody to introduce themselves and where they're from. This is always part of the the 
wine and dine meal that we had at Black Sesame Kitchen. Rianca, please start. <laughs> <laughs> as well but in Beijing you really do just make these like really amazing friendships yes. yeah. and people are so open to meeting new people like yes, tonight exactly, as well exactly. it's just yeah. such a nice vibe yeah it really is um, special I mean it's a special time and a special place and yeah it's also like we're really glad to hear that like now you know you have like the idea of just doing this um, regularly yeah, again yeah. so yeah. Tara yeah, and awesome. I are definitely going to come you to be host no, I'm paying. <laughs> <You're gonna laughs> I'm paying too I'm paying too <laughs> Well, thank you so much yeah, for having thank us. Thank you so much. It's been so it great so to have fun. you. And it's a long time coming, you. but lovely to meet you finally. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And welcome to the Black Sesame Kitchen family. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, you so much. Yeah. thank you. Cheers. 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 On the noodle road. Cheers again. Right? Yeah. We're all on the noodle road. Yeah. <laughs>